And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Last time we delivered the water pump parts to the sewer ghouls and learned that we actually need to install this way to fix the water pump ourselves and that means that we have to enter this shed here which means that we need to get past Harry the Mutant which means that we have to kill him. It is actually possible to convince Harry that you are not human, um, but that requires you to have a character that is better in speech, I think, at least. The suggestions that I looked up in an online walkthrough, um, so the dialogue options which you are supposed to take in order to convince Harry that you're not, a, that you're not human, didn't work for me, so I suppose that that's the problem. Okay, um, we now have to deal with another problem, namely killing Harry. Hey, well, the problem is that like Harry How is actually equipped not ghoul. with a energy weapon that will just cut through us um, like butter, like hot knife through butter. Uh, and therefore we should engage in this combat a bit yeah a bit more strategy than just rushing uh, rushing right in okay maybe rushing them works sometimes okay apparently dog me just knocked knocked him over um, so we might get lucky in this combat if we if you get unlucky um, in such situations, you will just... Yeah. Get completely destroyed because these energy weapons are so powerful. But we might get lucky here. And I'm too far away. Hmm. Ah, he okay, he's not he's not that he oh and the third one okay one of them is armed with the flamethrower but that doesn't matter since we were killed I mean I was not killed. even the cat yeah that's the problem with this <clears throat> that's the problem with fighting the mutants um it it probably would be in theory possible to steal his to steal um, his ener energy weapons making him yeah forcing him to fight just with his bare hands but hey. that requires you to You're be not ghoul I knew I knew um, to sneak past him and as we learned that doesn't work and then now I'm on one Point health uh, on one health point. I mean, okay. And we have just enough health points for another hit, and then we missed, and we will. We're probably going to die next turn. Or are we? Well, I could heal, um, and I probably should, but before I do that, I'm going to hit him in the eyes. He doesn't appear to be blinded yet. Um, okay, let's just risk it. Three times his charm. And if yeah. If he just scratches me, I'm going to die and he, in fact, fired his very powerful energy weapon at me at point-blank range, so... Hey, yeah. You not go okay, this combat... Uh, 
Uh, this is probably going to... Oh, they're there. It's going to take a while. Uh, let us try to just lure Harry out. Of course, the other companions are just going to try to attack Harry. Uh, Harry. Um... Yeah, interestingly, um... Okay, forget what I was trying to say. Uh, that's very easy because I didn't say what I was... What I wanted to say... What I wanted to say was that it is interesting that the companions actually don't pull enemies, but only your character does. But as you just saw, that's actually quite wrong. Yeah, this, this, uh, I think this, um, mutant on the upper right corner here, he has a flamethrower. Um, hmm. Hey, don't punch dog meat. That's that's just mean. Ha! And he's not—he is not dead yet, but he will be soon. And then I failed to do any damage. Uh, hmm. Let's go for the groin. I know it's mean. And that's... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this isn't actually the mutant that is equipped with the rocket launcher. Okay, Harry is killed. Um... I oh shit. I actually did not intend to click the turn button. And the other mutant is dead too. Okay, there's only one mutant that is left. So we were getting... Up until now we were getting very lucky actually. Um, with this combat, can we end it? No, that this fool Ian has just pulled the other mutant. Okay, <sighs> you fucking idiot! <sighs> and I think this is the mutant that has the flamethrower. You're not going to kick his ass. You're going to die. You fucking. Okay, I'm not go. Wait. I don't care about Ian, but Dogmeat is not going to die in this let's play. Okay, so in order to ensure that Dogmeat is not going to die, I will actually s tell him not to engage in combat. Um, and I will actually also tell the other guys to stay back. And I will just try, yeah, to do this myself. Hey, Oops, you and then I look like ghoul. hit my microphone. You okay, we are probably going to die in this turn. No, we are not. Okay, that's fantastic. Okay, get back and wait. Uh, what? I just...
Okay, something is not quite happening as I planned it. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I told everyone not to engage in combat. Maybe we will just get lucky this time and not get Dogmeat killed. Okay, he's down. Um, hmm. Okay, he still isn't dead yet. Hmm. Oh, actually, he is dead now. Um. And Ian is running away. Which is very good. Um, because that means that this bloody fool will not pull the guy with the flamethrower again. Okay. Can we end? Can't end combat. Um. Let us position ourselves strategically and just wait. Okay, that's the guy with the flamethrower. He needs to die. Um, let us try to break his arm. And he was killed. Um, that's very good. Okay. The, he is only. Yeah. Uh, he isn't actually armed, so. And why are you shooting from there? Yeah. Fool. Yeah, your companion AI is not the best. Um, now with all these dead mutants, the first thing that we should do is loot their corpses. Okay, that is the flamethrower. Um, we should also pick up Harry's weapon, which is a laser rifle. We can just carry that. Um, Okay, let us, where's Ian? Ian? You need to be my pack mule. So let me give you some things. Uh, okay. Then I can pick up um, the flamethrower fuel. It should probably be safe before I do anything else because this turned out so well. And then we will repair the water pump. Um, was it, I think it was his corpse, yes. Um, ah, and there's ammunition actually. Well, we can, can loot this later, of course. Um, and an assault rifle. Okay. Um. What are you actually skilled with? Okay. Pistols and submachine guns. But I think Tissue was actually skilled in rifles. So maybe he wants to, would like to have the assault rifle. Um, rifles, yes, okay. So we'll give him 
the okay let us first before give him the assault rifle check what ammunition this needs okay five millimeter jacket hollow point do we have any of that no that's 10 millimeter that's 10 we don't have that ammunition um But maybe there's some um, of that ammunition in uh, in the sport. Okay, that's ten millimeter. Hmm. Okay, no. Then we should probably buy some some of this ammunition. Um, when we get to the next dealer, let's not forget uh, dog meat to come along. Okay. And tissue is blocking my path. Is there anything cool in here? What's that? Pistol. Just an ordinary, ordinary 10 mm pistol. Okay, why the game decides to give me that at this point, I don't know. Okay, this is the water pump. Can we fix it? Can we fix it using the junk? Uh. You're having difficulties making these parts work. Shall we try it again? You earn 1000 experience points for fixing the water pump. The ghouls will be grateful. Yeah, they better should be. Because I'm going to take their water chip. Um, hmm. Is there someone in the cell? Okay, this cell is locked. Can we unlock cell using our lock picking skill? No. Maybe if we try again. Can we now? Open the cell. Yes. Oh. Uh, you were there a second ago. Okay. But I'm not going to question that. Oh, 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 what, what do you want? Um, I'm here to let you out. Great. Do it. Um, I'm not sure whether I should have done that, but I did it anyway. Uh, can we talk to you? No, we have to open the um, the cell first. Hello, ghoul prisoner. Thanks for letting me out. Hmm. Where does the water come from? They pump it up from the wells below. There is a manhole in the cell next door that leads to the old vault. This is the source of the water. If it wasn't for those for those ones below, we would be a lot a lot better off. What do you mean? Wait. So. Am I getting this right? They actually, the water pump only pumps the water up from the vault, but the vault actually um, recycles the water using the water chip. So if I take the water chip, technically the ghouls should all um, die. 
Okay, anyway, what do you mean? It's difficult to make the old tech work properly sometimes. The glowing ones lash out whatever we go whenever we go down there. Us ghouls just leave them alone. And the big mutants don't seem to care one bit. Hmm. Good luck, bye. Thanks again. Okay, and when we come back, folks, we shall yeah, get down this manhole. This one. And get the water chip. So until next time, folks, until then.